today we're going to look at emergencies in primary care. So let's start as ever with a question. So the answer here is 300 micrograms or 0.3 milliliters of 1 in 1000 solution. Um, and remember that the biggest thing that's going to be life threatening is going to be your airway closing up. And you know, this is a classical anaphylactic reaction to this vaccine that this child is having. And the main thing with anaphylaxis in children, it's always 1 in 1000, it's always intramuscular in the primary care setting. Um, and then what we're looking for is really based on age, how much you give them. So so a couple of key changes in the latest anaphylaxis guidelines from the Resuscitation Council. The first is that child aged under six months, there's a new dose, and that's 100 to 150 micrograms. And then it's six months to six years is what was the old dose for anyone under six, which is 150 micrograms. Six to 12, 300 micrograms. And then 12 plus is the same as the adult dose, which is 500 micrograms. The other thing is that it's no longer routinely recommended to use IV steroids or antihistamines. IV fluid bolus is recommended with crystalloids after you've repeated the adrenaline if they've still not responded. And this card that you're seeing here is taken from our updated clinical case cards, which are available either in print form, digital form, or the combined bundle, which has both the printed and the digital version for online access anyway. At this stage, of course, in primary care, hopefully your receptionist or someone else has already called 999 and an ambulance is on its way because this patient is very likely to need to spend a decent amount of time in hospital until they're sort of fully recovered. So it is an important topic, emergencies in primary care. There are often questions on this and it's an area that people sometimes struggle with because the curriculum doesn't just cover what we do in hours, but it also covers everything out of hours and all the kind of emergencies that we could see, anything from acute severe asthma, sudden collapse, so sort of basic life support in children and in adults, um, as well as something like this, you know, dealing with anaphylactic reactions. So I hope that's been useful and do join us again tomorrow for another 30-day challenge EKT question. Thank you.